Welcome along to the Kiwi Sizzler the Web Series. My name is Chris Fortune and I'm really excited to be presenting these fantastic New Zealand designed marine grade stainless steel barbecues. These are great, they're designed to go anywhere. Look, the leads fold up, we've got this fantastic huge surface cooking area and we're going to be showcasing how to cook on your own Kiwi Sizzler right through YouTube and our website. One of the main things you need to do is kiss. Keep it simple, stupid. Okay, so we're going to take really good quality products. We've got fantastic boar sausages. We've got fantastic skinny sausages. And we need to keep it simple. You need one of these things. This is an oil can. A little bit of oil on paper towels. Okay, and we're going to wipe down our barbecue. This is going to be hot. We're just going to wipe it down so that when we put our food onto it, it's not going to stick. Okay, you can use paper towels. You can use rosemary sticks. You can use whatever you like, as long as you put a little bit of oil on those bars, food won't stick. You need to make sure you're using good quality products. We've got fantastic freshly made sausages. This is ball worst, a big coil. Put your big food on first. So this one needs to go on the barbecue first. Make sure your barbecue is nice and hot. Just hold your hand over top and then gently place it on. And it has to sizzle when it hits the barbecue. Start your barbecue up on hot, on high. And then once you've added your food to the barbecue, turn it down to medium high. And that way when we're cooking our food, we can still get that fantastic sizzle. But we're not going to get all those burns and flame ups. Fantastic tip, whenever you're cooking larger cuts of meat, what you need to do is make sure you always turn it away from you. Okay? And that way that the, anything splashes up, it's not going to hit you or your hands. You've always got a really long pair of tongs so they don't burn your fingers. These ones are fantastic because I can get right to the back. The great thing about the Kiwi Sizzler barbecue, there's these sizzle bars. So what happens when the meat's cooking, the juices are dropping down, it's hitting it and that's creating more and more flavour and a little bit of smoke and aroma. That's going to make people really hungry for your barbecue. So a fantastic trick whenever you're doing any barbecue, look, make sure you put on one of these things. It's called an apron, lads. And it just keeps everything nice and clean and tidy. Makes you look pretty professional too. But we want to test inside to make sure the sausage is cooked. So one of the tricks you can do, using a wooden skewer, not your chef's knife. If you use your chef's knife, all the juices run out. We just want to have a quick look. And if the juices are running clear, which they are, that means your product's cooked. This is the chef's secret, okay? Once your meat's cooked and we take it off the barbecue, we want to put it on a platter or a plate and we want to leave it to rest. So the key is some tin foil over the top and you want to let that to rest for at least five minutes before we start eating it. It's not going to go cold, but it's going to go nice and relaxed and all the juices are going to go back into our meats and it's going to be really tasty. A great chef's secret is to test the product. You can just use your hand if you squeeze it. And the trick is when you hold your fingers together, you can tell by first finger means it's rare, second finger means it's medium rare, third finger means it's medium well, fourth finger means it's well done. And if you squeeze that little bit of flesh there and you squeeze your barbecue products, we want the sausages cooked well done. They're perfect. And that's going to keep that nice and warm. This has been resting for the last five minutes. Our sausage is already smelling great. And we've got some troops. The boys. So we've got our fantastic Vorwer sausages. This is the premium product here. And it's been resting for the last five minutes. So it's ready to eat. And we've got some burgers over here for the boys. I'm just gonna slice some of this up. Here you go guys, come and grab it. Look at that, perfectly cooked. Beautiful color all the way through. That's it for our Kiwi Sizzler tips and tricks on this great little barbecue. Look, you can use anything, but this is a fantastic graphic glass for the most stainless steel marine grade. 
A huge big thank you to the team at Fishing New Zealand for supplying our equipment. And of course, you can check out all our videos online at www.kiwisizzler.co.nz or Fishing New Zealand. Make sure you catch, clean and cook.